I didn't realize it was going to go off like that. Like I said, like I I expected maybe 50 people in line. I was like, okay, like I think this will work. Like pe- some people have heard about it. I've been getting messages. I think it's going to go well. I didn't realize like 400 people were going to stand in line for three hours. I feel like when I grew up, there was like bars on every corner. Yeah. And now there's like two in all of like four cities. It's crazy. Or you have to go downtown, which is so far. Is there any bigger acts that are in the pipeline? Can Ooh, you disclose? I can't disclose, but things are coming. Things are coming. Things okay, are coming. Okay, okay. I don't think I've ever seen that many people in Chilliwack. Huh? <laughs> it was it was going, insane. People like, were going you, there from Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. Just walk two blocks yeah. and you'll see someone shooting up. I was like, can you stop? Like, let's just have something we, nice we, here. We still couldn't see it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I Welcome, this is live from Langley, BC, the number one podcast in Langley, where we talk to local residents and business owners about local events and businesses. Today, we have a local legend that you probably have faint but fond memories of behind the bar. Please help me welcome Shmisha. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, oh, there you wait, I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> I'm Dan, local realtor. And I'm Megan from the local space. Please help me welcome Shmisha. Hi. <laughs> Round two. Okay, we got it. I'll just edit that. But okay. So, Shmisha. Alicia. I'm going to call you Alicia because Shmisha is okay. one of those like, oh, you know, it's, I, I figure it was, where'd you come up with that nickname first? Let's hear from you. Honestly, one of my coworkers gave it to me like 12 years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Was it in regards to like... No, it's just a of... play on my name. Oh. Yeah. I figured it was in regards to, you know, the state of some people that when they're speaking to you, they're like, oh, Shmisha, give me another. No. <laughs> it's like funny. a little pet nickname. Okay. Yeah, no, it, well, it caught on, mm. right? Everyone I know, everyone that, you know, brings up, oh, you know, Shmisha's at this bar, at that bar now. They always refer to you as Shmisha. So I am Shmisha. it definitely caught on. But I'm going to go with Alicia because it's I easier think, to say. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it sounds like a name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, so for anybody who doesn't know you that's watching this, can you maybe tell them a little bit about yourself? Okay. Um, I have been in the bar industry for probably 20 years in Langley. Moved out here when I was 20, 20, 21, 20. Um, from Chilliwack, so born and raised out there. Honky tonk. Me too. Are you? Yeah. Yay. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I live here now. What school? Rosedale Elementary, Rosedale Middle, Chilliwack Secondary. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was at Sardis. Oh, okay. Yeah. Other We're rivals. Yeah. <laughs> the only two schools. <laughs> well, now there's more. Now there's a lot. Yeah. My grad year, Sardis, like, hung dead cows around my school. What was your grad year? Oh, seven. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's that, brutal. That, no, I was gone. Right? Yeah. Wasn't yeah, like, they were, they were big rivals. Yeah. You didn't go to the other side. Hardcore. <laughs> and now there's a bunch of schools, so, like, it's different now. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, yeah, moved out here, started working at Cheers. That was my first nightclub way back in the day in Delta. And then did a pub and then worked at Earl's in Delta and then went to Gabby's and was there for, like, 10 years. And then... The Clayton after Gabby's closed, and now I'm at Rusty's. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow, that's a track record. So, so well, how, how did you find that you progressed in like your role in the bar through every different bar you were at? Or you kind of were always content at, behind the bar? Like you're still like killing it behind the bar. So. Well, thank you. I will take <laughs> this. Um, yeah, bartending has always kind of been like my forte. That's where I like to be and where I have the most fun. I kind of thrive in chaos. I can do like other little roles outside like promotions or little bit of managing here and there, but ultimately it's bartending for me. Mm. Yeah. And at Rusty's now, you are you also taking a, an additional role there? As? Yeah. So I am assistant GM there. Oh, nice. And then I also bartend. That's awesome. Because I can't give it up. So you got headhunted then? Um, There was an opportunity. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it kind of fit the script, right? I feel like you were, you know, killing it at the previous country bar. And <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, yeah, it's it's something that's been lacking in Langley, in my opinion. For a while, so. Yeah, I just think nightlife in general has been lacking. Like, there's not really anywhere to go anymore for the young kids. I don't know. I feel like when I grew up, there was, like, bars on every corner. And now there's, like, two in all of, like, four cities. It's crazy. Or you have to go downtown, which is so far. So far. Yeah, that's, um, that's what I guess steers people away from from that life a little bit more. Yeah. I mean, you were going to go to Rusty's, too, like. Mm-hmm. This weekend. Yeah. Because yeah, it's not that far away. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's fine. Yeah. Like, I remember growing up, it would either be going to Gabby's or going to Roosters across the bridge. Like, mm-hmm. that's where everyone always wanted 
mm-hmm. to go for country bars. Yeah. Yeah. No, that that's always that's always a nice um change of pace when, when you're not going to a bar and hearing like top forty all the time. That's yeah. kind of like mm. You can listen to the radio, but if you have, yeah. especially the li- the live music is is awesome. Yeah, that's something else that like we've tapped into again is there was nowhere that was really doing live music. Like you'd have to go again downtown. So it's like the Roxy or other places down there. I think there's only a couple more, but nowhere local really. That was like that nightclub feel. Mm-hmm. Like you'd get the solo acts at, you know, camp or the breweries or whatever, but not like full band nightclub mode. So that's been awesome too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We were talking to Whiskey Blind last last episode and they were saying that too that they're having a tough time getting into pubs or breweries because it's more of an acoustic solo act not like a full band yeah um and he was just like yeah if we played at a a restaurant we would people wouldn't be there's no way yeah (laughs) yeah yeah like places like that want a a solo act a duo or a trio like something mellow Mm -hmm. something dinner-ish like we're full party bands so it's been awesome to have all these bands come back and have somewhere to play and it's just like whoa everybody's coming out of the woodworks mm-hmm. it's been good that's awesome and you know i want to touch on this because it's i think well in my opinion one of the reasons why rusty has now come out of the woodwork um because before it was always there mm. right and um it's always a place that people talked about going i never went you never maybe, went to rusty before maybe for like a trivia night once oh. but uh it was usually going <laughs> to the henry right because that was just down the street and that was also a little bit rowdy sometimes and now it's uh, i don't know what's going on over there it's not gonna lie but uh <laughs> so so I, I never went to rusty's and now because you've gone there right i feel like you've definitely brought a lot of people because of your branding right you've been in the in the game for this long that you've i don't know if it's solely me it's just more the sense of like we're doing something different that was needed again she's doing something that younger people also yeah. want to actually go out to where there isn't a lot that younger people want to go out to in the area Everyone's sick of DJs. Yeah. yeah like, it's niche Like, definitely the lack of a country bar has been needed. Like, we've mm-hmm. needed that. And, yeah, and there's just nowhere to go. So, yeah, I'm sure I've brought some people with me, like, because I've built a clientele over the years. But, honestly, I think it's just been word of mouth and kind of, like, rebranding in a sense. Right, right. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Um, how are you finding it there so far in terms of? It's insane. <laughs> it's good, though. Like like busy insane? Yeah. Um how is the lineups? Oh, it's been definitely better since opening weekend. Okay. Didn't expect opening weekend to go off the way it did. Like astounded, loved it, but like crazy. Um, but since then it's been good. Like we've been flowing through the line now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What what was the biggest challenge on opening weekend you find? Getting everybody in because there was a ton of people that didn't get in. Yeah. Yeah. And it was uh, like I, I was I wasn't able to make it out. I had a birthday dinner, but I saw the videos. Yeah. I didn't realize it was going to go off like that. Like I said, like I I expected maybe 50 people in line. I was like, okay, like I think this will work. Like pe- some people have heard about it. I've been getting messages. I think it's going to go well. I didn't realize like 400 people were going to stand in line for three hours. What's the capacity of Rusty's? Uh, 200. Yeah. Ooh. And then is there, is there any room for growth in that location? Like is there a way you can knock down a wall? Oh, no, you never know. <laughs> It's worth a shot. What's next door to there? Is there like a... There's, there's a, bigger, a medical center. There's a big, big store. Uh, well, there's a no frills. Yeah. And take, a liquor over store. No frills. <laughs> take over the no frills. That's like quite a ways down the, the, the shopping style. mall. They have this huge, yeah. Um, well, we have some questions. I wanted to, before I forgot. Uh, okay, question. Is there ever going to be a hot dog stand outside of Rusty's? Um, so I'm going to go with probably not because we are a pub and we have food. Oh. So the most that could happen is possibly we'd put a hot dog on the menu. Okay. Or well, a smoky or something. That's valid. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to stand outside. No, in, you in can get it lineup. inside. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, here's another one. Who's the greatest country band? This may or may not have been sent in <laughs> by somebody who played at Rusty's this weekend. Well, it's all of them that have played <laughs> at Rusty's, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's always a hard one because if you have people who, you know, they've supported you, you've supported them, that's that's the only thing that matters. Honestly, we've only had like three bands, but I can literally say like they have blown me away. It's great. That's great that there's local talent like that too. Yeah. Is there any bigger acts that are in the pipeline? Can Ooh, you disclose? I can't disclose, but things are coming. Things are coming. Things okay, are coming. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Anything that you have coming that you can... Yeah, we're doing a St. Patrick's Day, so pre-party on, I think it's March 16th. Is it Saturday? 
Um, so that'll be the pre-party. Bunch of swag from like Guinness and Jameson and everything specials. Um, we have bucket drinks. So we're going to do a special St. Patty's Day bucket drink. And then Sunday, actual St. Patty's Day, real party DJ two to six. That's a Sunday. Oh, so that'll awesome. be good. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. Oh, something I wanted to ask. In that location, do you think there's a possibility of ever extending the party into the parking lot? Um, probably, like a tailgate. Probably not. That well, sounds that'd difficult be, with yeah, liquor license. That'd be a <laughs> difficult mean, one. I don't know. But you're not providing the liquor. You People would definitely kinda... still have to get a liquor license. You'd have to fence off part of that mm, parking lot. That's an idea, though. Um, it, it would be process. an extensive process. Mm. Who's done that? Where will everyone park? I don't know. Um, so Farm Country me. does Oktoberfest, and they close off their whole parking do they? lot oh. um, to do it. But like they do it once a year because it's a lot of work. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. Where do they park? Well, they oh, can go park at Valley Village. I don't know. Mm. There's a lot of parking, at least, yeah, there, and not a lot of businesses, like, right there. That's but, true. Yeah. I'm going to turn this off. Uh, yeah, that's that's valid. Um, in terms of, you know, like, there's there's events happening around the area now with, like, cu- relation to country. Are you guys going to be working with any of them? In the- yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I yeah, we have some gone country stuff going oh, up cool. that you'll see on the Rusty's Instagram soon. Um, Cloverdale Rodeo is coming up in May, so that's going to be awesome because it's right there in the that's area. That's going to be huge. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a good time. Um, yeah, I just feel like it's a really good location for everything country because everything kind of happens right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, well, the big one, Cloverdale Rodeo, people, Cloverdale, I think they, they shut down around 10. Obviously, it's open till like 12, I think. But you guys are open till? One. Okay. Yep. Nice little, oh, you'll get, you know, a solid lineup. <laughs> yep. Um, and then Gone Country, I think that ends early too, right? It's that outdoor. ends at 11, I believe. Oh my. Yeah. You guys are going to be packed. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I'm not going to name any names, but we went to Cloverdale Rodeo yep. this summer and we went to a bar nearby afterwards because we thought, hey, this is great. It's going to be packed. And it was crickets. And I'm like, it yeah, like fell off. Sad to see. Yeah. Might have been a COVID thing, but I don't know. <laughs> well, hold on. I'm going to cough. <laughs> okay. I also find that it's kind of hard to reinvent yourself sometimes. You, like, you got to keep it fresh. Otherwise, things just kind of like start to slowly fade away. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely see that. Yeah. Yeah. Those are those bars around there have been around for a while. Yeah. Um, overall, though, have you, you said you were seeing, you know, a place that younger people wanted to go out to. Have you noticed overall the 20 years a trend with the bar scene? Like, what's a trend happening? with like the age groups or? Yeah, that too. The age groups are like in terms of like people going out. Cause I find nowadays, since we have, you know, the internet, people are happy to stay home to socialize. Yes. Instead of going out and meeting in person. Right. And COVID definitely also put it yes. in the coffin. You know what I have realized is I find that country music is like one thing that all ages gravitate towards. It's like I've done the whole top 40 hip hop bar and that usually attracts more of the younger crowd. But country music, all ages, all the time. It's crazy. So hmm. it's been good. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could see that. Right. There's definitely growing up. It's a, it's a nostalgia thing. Yeah. That's what I was talking about last episode. It's like it brings me back. That's why I like listening to country music. Yeah. I don't listen to it all the time like I used to. But there's those songs that bring you back to like high school yeah. and all. And like, you know, yeah. Back when you were first getting to the bar mm-hmm. and, and it's like, whoa, blast from the past. Mm-hmm. So that's always fun. You listen to country? I only listen to country. Oh, really? Right? Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. It's a chill whack in me. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's got yeah, a it is actually. Yeah. yeah, I grew up only listening to country music, really? and I just kept on just I listening didn't to country at all. I did not like country music for a long time. Mm. Yeah, now obviously I do. <laughs> yeah, I know I did for a while. Yeah, and then I just like it grows on you. I don't know. Yeah, it's like it's catchy. Yeah, sometimes other music like isn't music, or are they just talking with a beat in the background? Kind of. <laughs> yeah, they're really relying on the on the music a lot of time. Or... Yeah, yeah. I just always say that like. Especially in a bar, nobody wants to fight to Red Solo Cup. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, you can't. That is true. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. No, well, rest in peace, Toby yeah. Keith. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know he died till like last week. And I'm like, wow, that hit. He only died like the week before, didn't he? Yeah, but oh. still, I don't know. Figure it'd be on social media a little bit more. 
Maybe you don't follow enough country. Yeah, yeah, I think it was just yeah. yours that it wasn't. Yeah, all. I was like, I'm pretty sure I oh, had yeah. posts like within an hour. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't follow enough country music people anymore. Um, yeah, it's hard. It's hard with all the social media stuff going on these days. Yeah. Um, did you have any fond memories, fond and faint memories? Like, but we're not talking about Gavin. Yeah, but you can. Uh, I, I was being at a, at a country, country bar with Shmisha. Uh... I don't know. I did like, yes, I did go to that place a lot, but I lived in a condo across the street. So like it was walking oh, distance. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know if you remember Steve. He was like one of the door guys. Of course I, I know who Steve is. He, he was my neighbor. So he would always walk oh, me you home. Oh, in that building. Yeah, so then he I would walk me that. home. <laughs> I dropped him off a couple of times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, I didn't get too messy. Oh, that's, well, I mean, you could because you can walk home. I know. That's convenient. So you were there to, until close then. Oh, yeah. If you, Wow. But yeah, like I, I was younger and like you didn't go out until like 11 yeah. at yeah. that time when you were like the younger crowd. You weren't there at like the 9 a.m., 9 p.m. waiting in no, line to get there was nobody sort of there then. Yeah. 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 I can't even imagine staying up that late now. No, no I can now. I like to go to bed at nine. So. Oh, that is early. I know. Yeah. That's hard. That I've tried that. It's 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 nice when you can do it. But aside from. Yeah. It, it must be hard, though, when you're when you're working in that scene. I don't sleep. I don't know if you see these eye bags. We are tired. <laughs> but what? Okay, so what's your schedule look like usually? Um, it is Thursday to Sunday evenings. I'm on the floor. Monday, I'm doing like office work. Um, but kind of every day, I'm just working behind the scenes doing something. It's been busy. And then I guess you kind of move your routine to start. So this is early. I'm up because I have a daughter that has to go to school. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's that, what I'm saying. I never that, sleep. I go to bed <laughs> at two. I'm up at six. I'm like. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I have bar life and then like also family life. So I'm like, oh, this is awful. Yeah, no, but uh, no, actually, uh, she's probably almost done school or? She has, she graduates this year. Oh, yeah. You're going to get some, uh, some time to sleep in. Then. Probably, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> you probably still won't. I probably will not. No. Yeah. Once you get into that routine, you're just you're up. stuck. Yeah. yeah. It's like weekend trying to sleep in up at seven. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> Pretty much. Um. Yeah, so I guess my uh, my memories are all around that bar because that's well, no, no, we we usually go, we were going to the Clayton a lot too, right? So the last two bars that you were at, um, and uh, it's always funny getting to see you because you know my and my friends' drinks. I try and learn people's drinks. That's insane to me because you see so many people, and uh, yeah, when you come. Just stop by. Hey, you want this? You want that? I'm like, how do you remember that? And then we haven't even ordered yet. So it's not like, oh, you already ordered this today. It's like from I think last week. It's just weekend. like repetition. Like if I see you enough, what does that say about so you? So you went to no. the Clayton <laughs> a lot is what I'm hearing. <laughs> I mean, I, I, the Clayton was the last place I was going to uh, more often than not. It was nice. They had the nice patio and stuff, mm -hmm. right? I was, I was all golfing on their tiny little golf course there. But it's good times. Good times. Have you ever worked in a bar? I worked at a restaurant. Oh, which yeah. one? Bar, uh, not serving. I was at Olive Garden. Oh, yeah, you were. Girl, the lady where, one? Yeah, that's where I met Evan. Yeah. Oh, so we worked I there get for it. Like, okay. Yeah, for like, well, like four or five years. Together. I can picture you working at Olive Garden. What? Well, <laughs> just wearing like the, 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 we had the ties for a while. That was so weird. Like thinking about it. Where else do you wear ties to serve? Aside from, yeah, I, don't I don't even know. JRG. Yeah, true. Like, yeah. Uh, like they dress uh, up. Was it called SNL? Probably has yeah. that. Yeah, like no. nicer places, the keg. The keg. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah like some have... of the nicer I've never worked in a nice. So the, the, the problem with the place. ties was, because obviously everyone does, you know, Did all get the pasta? super salad. It'd go in the soup. Yeah. 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 So you'd have to either wipe your tie off, get a new tie, or I guess you'd go tieless and go home because they wouldn't let you do that. So don't get your tie in the soup, pretty much. <laughs> um, endless super salad. Yeah. It's kind of hard to not. I love this. Did you, what did you do there, sir? Yeah, I was serving. I was uh, busing too. So that's how I started. Okay. Yeah. So when I turned 19, yeah, straight into serving. But uh, yeah, it was a good experience. So it was chaos. So I can't imagine being behind the bar at a, at a, like a, I feel pub. like everybody should have to work in the restaurant industry. I feel like it makes people respect people yeah. more in restaurants and that sort of stuff. I get yeah. so annoyed with people when they're rude. I was like, you're yeah. not their only customer. Yeah. You obviously have never worked in a restaurant yes. or bar or whatever. Did you? Yeah. I worked at the Clydesdale. 
Oh, yeah, you did. And I also worked at Cactus and Milestones downtown. But oh, yeah, yeah uh, I made way more money at the Clydesdale. Really? Oh, yeah. For like an average night, I would bring home like 500 bucks. Why? I had no, they only had one bartender, one server, and the place would be full. So you're making all the money. I'm shocked. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. I Older quit. clientele? Older clientele. And like it was at the, like, I think beers were like three fifty for a pint. So everyone paid five bucks for every single pint. Ah. So you're like, the tips add up really quickly, especially with how fast they yeah. go through their beers in a four hour wow. shift. Wow. I am like shocked. Yeah. <laughs> wow. They paid for my first condo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. That's Good awesome. for you. Yeah. That's a success story right that there. Really? You should like, get I wouldn't eat food or like, drink, like hang out there. There were some like sketchy things that went on in the bathrooms there, but you know. Yeah. Well, I feel like you have to you know, put your head down and focus if you're trying to do something like that. Because, yeah, there's lots of temptations around hanging around. That's the biggest one is working at a restaurant. And yeah, after the shift, there's let's definitely go quite out or let's stay, scene. yeah, drink yeah. until two. And you're like, I just spent all my tips yeah. going out yeah. for drinks. And that's why I remember when I lived and worked downtown, like it was like you needed a job just to pay for drinking and a job to pay mm. for rent and job to pay. I was like, this is crazy. All separate things. Yeah, just because every day after your shift, you'd be going out for drinks and food and stuff with your friends, like every day. Like it's a lot. There's a funny thing about bars and restaurants too. I don't know if I, ah, I started it. I'm going to go through with it. Um, It's kind of like a weird cult vibe. I don't know if you get that, like where my, my, my wife said it. She, like being hearing, in the industry? Hearing the stories of like when you work at a bar and like everyone in the bar is like. Sleeping with each other? Close, yeah. <laughs> oh, that way. I was like, where is this going? <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, yeah, but also like that's from younger years. Like at my age, it doesn't happen anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like a lot of times when you're starting out in that industry, you are in your young, fun, crazy Yeah, 100%. Stage. So that's why when it you're has at a, that reputation. Yeah. When I worked at Earl's, absolutely that happened. Like, everybody. But I have always been an anomaly of straight and narrow. First of all, I hardly drink. So, like, there's none of that. Plus, I had no life. And then I had a baby at 21. So I'm like, I'm boring. That's I just good, watched though, it all that's happen. That's what's probably kept you going this far, because I feel like a lot of people, yeah, they kind of start. I will attribute that to, like, my partial success, because I'm like, yeah, if I was out partying, drinking every night, Probably I wouldn't have worked so hard. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, that's huge. That's what's changed my life too. I feel like I've kind of just skated by, focused on some things here and there, and now baby's in the picture, and you're like, oh, settles shit. you down, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for me, that's what I, I mean. Different people have different, uh, you know, triggers, but for that's me, true. that's what it was. It was like that. All right. Yeah. Time to get to work. Time to so, be responsible. Yeah. And uh, then we're still doing some things, you know, here and there to enjoy ourselves, but. There's still that that goal, right? Yeah. Speaking of eating food, which we weren't talking about, but I'm looking at it. Um, let's get into this before I forget it's sitting right there. Uh, oh, okay. So who doesn't like cookies in the morning for breakfast? So I found these at Provisions. They are a local competitor of the local space, <laughs> kind of. They <laughs> sell gifts. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks, Provisions. <laughs> Uh, they sell local stuff. Uh, but if you are in Langley City, check out the local space or in Chilliwack because they have a location there, too, that I can't find. And um, so this is from Wendell's. They have Wendell's bagged cookies. Have you ever had their cookies? No. You had any? No. Yeah, me neither. Um, are they gluten-free? Isn't most of their stuff uh, gluten-free? Oh, gluten, yeah. wheat, dairy, egg-free. Probably vegan, too. Well, no, if it's dairy and egg-free, what wouldn't be vegan in it? I don't know. Don't they make jello with, like, cow parts? Why is there so coming jello yeah, in the no cookies? Jello in there. <laughs> I'm just saying. Jello is also probably dairy and the egg free, though, right? Yes. Mm. Valid. Valid. Right. But I hope they didn't put jello in your cookies. Uh, we'll see. Probably, I wouldn't mind it because that, I like candy. Um, so here, everyone grab one. I know. Uh, oh, we're eating it's cookies. 10 All right. I haven't had cookies in a while. So. You know what? I had a cookie this morning. Oh, did you, you actually? Yeah. <laughs> So I was like, random. I need to leave now, and I was like, oh, I love it. I'll have a cookie from the cookie jar because that's all I have time for. There you go. Yeah, good. It's like shortbread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like I like would it. throw these in the microwave. I like doing that with cookies. You ever done that? So it's like the freshly baked. Yep. Mm -hmm. I've never done it with these kind. No, never with these kind. No. I usually get like um, the President's Choice ones, like the bakery ones. Or no? Uh, no. No, like just like the pre like the, the the bakery ones are good and chewy. Oh, are they? Mm -hmm. But those are like freshly made, right? Those, yeah, they're that's thinner. Why it's in a bakery. 
Yeah, but you get like one for the price of like 10, no? From the know. ones in the bag? It's like $8 for like a 12 pack of freshly baked cookies. Mm-hmm. I feel like that. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, I'd, I mean, I'd try that. I'd rather I love... that than some cookies that are two years old in a package off a shelf. How do you know they're two years old? <laughs> they might be at like six months, all right? Um, those, those, what are those ones that they came in the individual packets ready to... Dad's cookies? No, those... The ones that for the microwave. Or the microwave. Mm. You ever see that? Like big ones? Big yeah, cookies. they're bigger. Like recently? Why VR no, cookies does that? Oh, they do? Mm-hmm. I have some in my freezer. Those are heavy. Yeah, like they're huge. I was like, yeah. why are these cookies so thick like and so cake. big? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they're good. But I can't eat a full. I can only no. eat like half. Yes. They're good. That sounds like a challenge. I'm going to get some. I have some in my freezer. Oh, I think I saw some over there. I'll bring them tomorrow. Make them eat them all. We'll have a full one on the show. Show you how it's done. But yeah, so those are good. Wendell's cookies. Go check them out. Do you go to Wendell's? Yeah. I love Wendell's. So do I. I don't go to Fort Langley very much because oh. I don't like parking in Fort Langley. Oh, it's so fun. You have to go more. I know. Oh. I like it's like oh. three minutes from my house. Yeah, no, there's tons of parking. <laughs> Is it actually? Like I'm in Yorkson, so yeah, it's not really Get that. Get over there. <laughs> it's so close. It's, not it's, 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 there's parking everywhere. No, but I get what she's saying because but I'm I like... can't parallel park. Like that's. Oh, we bought mean. a house We're with women. a driveway yeah. in front of it. It was a requirement. I didn't care if it was an extra three hundred thousand dollars. We had to have a driveway mm-hmm. in front because I can't parallel park. <laughs> there's no, there's you don't have to. I suck too. I don't yeah. remember the last time I parallel parked in Fort Langley. I go there a lot. Yeah, but do you? Are you, when are you going? Like in the morning? I go there during the day mm-hmm. and on weekends too. Mm-hmm. If there's no event, it's not that bad. But if there's mm-hmm. an event, yeah, okay, good luck. But no, Wendell's is good. Um, their chicken sandwich is unreal. Oh, what do you eat there? You just get I the drink coffee. coffee. Mm. Yeah, I should the try their coffee. So I've never had their. Coffee. Oh, so good. Do it. You know what's fun going to uh, Fort Langley and doing though is you stop at Trading Post, grab a pack, four pack, oh. and then walk down the street. Yeah, oh. drinking. Oh, Why not? Isn't that illegal? I don't know. Yeah, oh, it's I local. Know. I was like, I'm pretty sure, sure it is. Cops will be like, "Yeah, you're supporting local. We'll give you a pass." No, it's fine. I mean, I'm not driving. Put it in a coffee I know, but I don't mug think you're so nobody sees open it. Liquor, like, yeah, it's not Vegas. You can't just like. All right. Well, if you're a cop listening to this, ignore it. Um. Yeah, but you can drink at parks now. So it's pretty much no, but that's day. not a park. When not you're all the of them. Only certain ones. Um. There's a where's that place though? Uh, Are you Derby, name Derby, one park? Derby Reach is across the street. I'm pretty sure you can drink there. Okay. I don't know. Just guess. I believe you. But uh, they're they're what they're building though at Fort Langley is they're building a new um what's it called boardwalk. You hear about that? A boardwalk. Yeah. So like you know a that here. Kind of. Oh. So it's going to go, if you're going towards the bridge on the right side where they have that parking lot, which they're going to get rid of, which I don't know if that's a good idea because that's one of the places I park. Yeah. But um, that area on the corner, they're going to flatten it, turn it into like some sort of a amphitheater for, for shows, live shows. And it's going to be going into the river a bit. So it's like the show will be on the water with the with the, the river as a backdrop. Something huh. Like that. Is that... The area where that restaurant is closed yeah. used to be Bedford House or whatever. Oh, yeah. I yeah, didn't that even was... know that was a restaurant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so that'll be cool. Um, But so where about, whereabouts are you right now? Living? Like, yeah. Walnut Grove. Oh, nice. Yeah. And that's where you've been this whole time? Mm, a lot of it. Since you moved from the WAC? No, we moved out to Surrey at first. And then it was White Rock. And then I've been in Langley for a while. Mm. Yeah. In Walnut Grove, Ish. or moving around yeah. Walnut Grove, Walnut Grove. area. Yeah, how are you liking it there? It's good. Yeah, so I like many the people from that from like Walnut Grove, Willoughby. Mm-hmm. They live in Langley. So many people in there that come here. That come on the. Oh, podcast. I was like, what so do you mean? I know. So I was many like, people. Like, people, people live <laughs> yeah, so many people live. Well, it's there. close. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just like people don't really live in other areas that come on here because we find. can't afford houses in Brookswood. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, that's Brookswood, true. With Simon River. Yeah, yeah, those guys are retired. They're like, ah, oh, we don't need yeah. to do a podcast. We're all right. Well, I mean, Yorkson and Willoughby and everything. That's where the majority of the population is. It's so yeah populated. Yeah, no, it's, crazy. it's newer, more affordable because yeah. they're smaller, right? Mm-hmm. I think affordable is relative at this yeah. point. I guess. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't it's say not, the word affordable. You'll get really roasted. Affordable, uh, yeah. but you'll get you know, roasted. It's cheaper than Brookswood. Uh, valid. Yeah. yeah. Valid. So those houses have property. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have uh, they have land there for sure. Where do you like to go locally? To hang out? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sheltered. I work at a bar, so like my days off are like Tuesday, Wednesdays. So I just do... those are the best days to take off, though. I know like... for errands, hundred uh, percent. So, yeah. yeah. 
Everybody's working. Yeah. Well, I find that's the days that I try to, we're in here on a Tuesday, mm-hmm. but I, I'd like to do like, if I'm going to do like a family outing, we'll do it on like a Tuesday, Wednesday because weekends I'm busy anyways and yeah. everything's packed. Yes. But in the summer, you go to a beach, it's empty. Yes. Like, nobody's there. Yes. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't take days off though, right? <laughs> no. Uh, like my days off, I combine when I go to the Okanagan. So there's my days off. Oh yeah. So like once every two months, I'll take a few days off. And just do computer work. In the and do office. computer yeah. work. It's still working. <laughs> uh, not as much, though. Just answering with a lake emails. view. Yeah, with a nice lake view. So It's a nice oh, vacation. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. can't imagine that. Where's your local space in Chilliwack? District 1881. Of course it is. Everything's there. I'm gonna have I to was go the visit. first store to open Were you? District 1881. Oh, well, good yeah. for you. Yeah, I opened without a business license. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. It's <laughs> Chilliwack. Nobody everyone cares. Else waited. I emailed the Cut mayor first and told him. No, I told him. Ken okay. Popov? Yeah. Is it still Ken? Yeah. Yeah. And then he was like, why would you do that? And I was like, because your guys are too slow. And he said, okay. I was like, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> and he's like, wouldn't expect anything less from you. I was like, okay. Glad you remember me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you did in Langley? Uh, in Langley? Yeah. That's the Chilliwack one. The Chilliwack one, because I grew up in Chilliwack, and I knew the mayor because he played baseball with my stepdad. Oh. So I just sent a random My stepdad's email. friends with him, too. Oh, That's yeah, why I, I was like, is it Ken Pebble? Everyone. Yeah, probably. It's Chilliwack. Yeah. yeah. They're all, they never leave. They all stay. No. Is your entire family still there? Because mine yeah. is. Like, there's like this strip mall that's called Edwards Crossing, and that's like my Where's family. That one? It's where the Mazda used to be, Leo Edwards and son Mazda. I don't know if you remember that. Place. Downtown? Yeah. Yeah. So Leo Edwards is my grandfather. So like, my family just doesn't leave. Oh, apparently not. <laughs> huh. Yeah. So I left. But like my grad class, there was like four of us that left Chilliwack. Oh, 100%. I remember our grad class. And they're like, it was hard to get people to come because. Everyone's still there. Yes, 100%. I think for mine, there was maybe three of us that have left. And like, I didn't go to my grad reunion because I was like, why? I know what everybody's doing from social media and everybody is still in Chilliwack. Yeah, they are all still Wait, there. Wait, so you had that problem too for your reunion? It's Chilliwack. I, I know, it's but I had that problem and I like, I just had my grad reunion. Like That you know what everybody's doing? Yeah. Because it's social media. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah it kind of ruined things. Yeah. Okay, so maybe like grad re- reunions are just like... uh. Uh, a blockbuster thing where they're like, oh, yeah, this is what reunions are supposed My to be like. My mom's grad reunion still gets together every, like, they get together every five years. Like, their grad class. The old school generation. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, my parents do, and they're not even in their country where they, they go back. and do a thing. They go back? Yeah. Oh, well, wow. That's dedicated. That, I'm just going to say that. I'm like, sorry, if I move, I'm not going to travel back to I can't drive to Chilliwack, Chilliwack <laughs> from Langley right now to go. It's only like a 35-minute drive. That did not drive me for a grad twice reunion. A week. Do you actually? Oh, I yeah. guess you have to. Yeah. I was gonna it's say. my best store, too, so I need to be present. Oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Like, I try and go out there very seldomly. District 1881 is actually getting a liquor license, or they're trying to, so that you can, like, walk around mm. in the co- it's private property. It is not a p- side of the street. I thought Fort <laughs> Langley was owned by somebody. I don't know. Like I'm the joking. town? Like <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. But, uh... Yeah, I'll just use that as an excuse. It's like, isn't this District 1881? <laughs> no, you're about 35 minutes away from that. That's People in Langley no, say it's I, like an hour and a half. Yeah, like fun. There. I mean, I went there for the Christmas thing. Where to District 1881? Yeah. Oh, he couldn't find my store. No, I walked past it like four times. Oh, yeah. I was like, it's on Yale Road, and he's like, where's that? I was like, probably the road you took to get there. Yeah, the main road. Yeah. <laughs> 100. Yeah. percent Yeah. Well, because I remember walking around, we were looking for a few different places. And we couldn't see them. And I was like, oh, they're probably upstairs. And nope. Okay. Well, I can't see the names on the doors. They all look the same. It was dark. It was I also dark. have like a hanging sign. I also have a sandwich board. It wasn't on the sign. Apparently, sure you need open. a neon light. Are you there? We're open until like 9 p.m. There's no way you were up past 9 p.m. with your child on that train. Are you judging me? No, no it, was, it wasn't that late. It was like <laughs> seven. I mean, it could have been five for all I know. It was pitch black already. That train drove me insane. Oh, really? Because, like, to get to the back of my store to unload, you have to go through where the train turns to go down into that other part. There was times where I got out of my car and, like, had to stand and tell people not to move so I can get my car through because it was so crazy busy there. Ooh. I'd never seen. It was, it was a so- Christmas train? Oh, where it loads? Oh, no, like, uh, where, where it goes and it kind of turns to go down another shopping area. Okay. Yeah. But, like, my car needs to go straight there because that's where my loading zone is because that's the back of my store. Uh, like, the train goes in a circle. That probably brought a lot of business, though. So. Compared to like, I think when it, it wasn't there, it it was quite. I don't think I've ever seen that many people in Chilliwack. Huh? <laughs> it was it was going, insane. People like, were you, going there from Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. 
which is nice for a change, you know? Mm -hmm. Usually it's the other way around. I just think it's funny. I heard about it and I'm like, why? You're going to Chilliwack? Why? To did downtown? Like, why? It looked like uh, Disneyland. It did look pretty. Of, yeah, I know. they did a good job with yeah. it. But then you can see like who all the local like residents are and they're just, just walk two blocks yeah. and you'll see someone shooting up. I was like, can you stop? Like, let's just have something we, nice here. We still couldn't see it. Don't worry. <laughs> I um, definitely had that happen in the summer. Like, I went down there for my birthday and to a cafe with my mom and sister and everything. And, like, did the whole little loop of, like, you know, that one little, I think it was, what is it? Wood. Whoa. Wooly Alley. or Oh, Wooly Alley. Wooly yeah. Alley. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like, popped out of there. And I was like, oh, no, still in Chilliwag. Like, <laughs> you know, hide. you feel like you're somewhere, like, foreign. Somewhere and, different. Yeah. They, they have like security guards and that sort of stuff, so they keep it. Do quite, they? Yeah, so okay. they keep it quite clear. But yeah, well, that's it's funny. Good. They're they're working on it. It's like a so getting better. Step out of it. It's like, oh yeah, no, no. I remember where I am. I think they. Yeah, it no, has I'm... improved a lot since I went to high school down that's the street. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had that same conversation with myself as I was driving there. I'm like, why am I driving to Chilliwack? <laughs> I like five. It's right? dark already, and like in traffic, it took like yeah, like 45 minutes. For some reason, to get there, and I'm like, oh, on a weekend, God. we got no. It was a weekday, oh. weekday evening. Yeah, because a lot of people commute. So yeah, it was a like rush, hour, rush hour, hour, rush hour. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Didn't know people lived out there. I guess you have to like leave at like 11 a.m. or like 7 p.m. I know, like I oh. figured out when all the traffic. Yeah, is. I've gone out there for for showings before, so I just have can't to go at around. 9 a.m. I've learned that. Yeah, no, 9 no. a.m. 11 a.m. is better time to head out east. Yeah. Just because all the trucks have just loaded up and now they're hitting the highway and it gets a little congested. Wow. Yeah. I've mapped it all should, Yeah, you should write like a <laughs> instruction manual. Should we carpool next time? I'll yeah, just sure. ride with you, visit my family, you can bring me back. <laughs> yeah. Although yesterday the highway was completely closed. Oh, there was a car there was like fire, three, truck fire? Yeah, there was like three vehicles on fire or whatever. Three? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's what the photo. Great. Yeah, that's yeah. the annoying part, I guess, of going down. You know, there's two lanes, hopefully more soon, but. If one of those gets shut down, you're taking a parallel. That's so bad now. Mm -hmm. It'll yeah. take a while. Look how long it took for two eights to get another we uh, love, three blocks. <laughs> we love our Langley Council, though. <laughs> We're not bashing the council. No, they're wonderful. We'd love to have the bond again. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, I mean, Langley's growing pretty fast, so and it's it's getting busier. So you know they have to do those things um, sooner rather than later. Should have been done. I agree. But how you, how have you found it since you've been here with the like, traffic and stuff? Oh, it's definitely increased. Yeah. I kind of like my Walnut Grove. Like, it feels like a portion of Chilliwack where it's like a condensed little mm -hmm. small town within a big town. I think mm -hmm. that's what I like. I like just staying in my area and that's about it. And yeah. then, I don't know, I'll venture down 200 sometimes, but uh, it's busy. Yeah. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it's busy. Probably, what do you go to that? Like, the, you, and they have enough grocery stores. They have like the Save On or the Fresh Street. You can get that shit delivered for free. Yeah, or I go across the bridge, Golden Ears to Pitt Meadows, because Superstore is right there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Way less traffic. Where do you live? Don't you live around here? I live in Latimer. Oh, okay. So it's, yeah, so That's I have to get on 200th anyways yeah. to go anywhere. Well, not now, actually. There's secret roads that I'm not telling oh. anyone about. Secret roads? Yeah. I'll but anyone could drive on them? Yeah, but you don't know they're open yet. But, oh, but they will yet. be open at one point, and once they're open, everyone it'll probably be busy, but I yeah. have some... Nice side streets to get me to the places through, that you need to go to through Willoughby. Yeah, I just spat. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Got excited about the secret roads. Um, what else can we talk about? So we talked about St. Patty's. Yeah. Um, anything planned for the summer? You said uh, Cloverdale Rodeo and Gone Rodeo Country. Gone Country. Yeah. Um, we're gonna be doing like long weekend parties. Mm -hmm. um, May long weekend is the first one. Isn't that Cloverdale Rodeo? Yeah. Yeah, but I more meant like yeah. Canada Day, oh, yeah. uh, Easter Long, um, and then the August one. BC Day. Thank you. Yes. What's your favorite drink to make? Oh, I guess a, a tough beer. one. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I love just cracking the beers. Yeah, probably. You know what's funny? Now you say that, and it's, I don't know, I always think of random stuff, but I've seen a lot of stuff on TikTok specifically, yeah. where people go live, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like behind the bar. And they're just like, it's a busy bar. And they're bartenders? Yeah, and they're yeah. just like on live stream. Yeah. And they're grabbing the beers. And they it's, one of the things that they always see is like someone orders like 10 beers for a table. So they like I, hug them. Yeah. And they take them. And somehow they are able to like, you know, offload them. So yeah, that's uh, that, that gets a lot of traction online because people are like, oh, this is crazy. We're getting like the behind the bar look. You see people just yeah. waiting in the bar, just like getting ignored and you laugh. <laughs> well, at them. I haven't seen that. I follow this one girl named Jemima. I think she like bartends in Texas or something. 
And yeah, some people will order like, I don't know, 10 beers and she will hold them all and then just pop them like this. Are you talking about like that kind Sound of thing? Like that, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've thought about doing that too, but you need a certain amount of followers to go live and I don't have enough. So I've filmed like little things on my TikTok of behind the bar life. I've seen, the, I've seen some of those videos actually. We'll give yeah. you, it's a thousand, right? We'll it's a thousand, a thousand, yeah. Yeah. Like I don't, yeah. Oh, you need a thousand? Yeah, you need it. I never knew this. You Whoa. need a thousand followers to be able to go live. Oh. Not just anybody. Just on TikTok? Yeah. Oh. And on Instagram, I guess you wouldn't do it. Um, Rusty's good. No, Instagram, I wouldn't do it because I'd want to edit it. Oh, no. I couldn't edit a live no, anyway. Yeah. What am I saying? Yeah. And it disappears after. On or I guess Instagram, you just, it stays for 24 hours. After yeah. If you post it. If you, it'll go into your stories. Oh. Yeah. And, and you it, can watch it. Um... Yeah, I don't. Maybe Unless I shouldn't go want. live. I'm a liar. I don't know if I Unless want to go live. You don't now. want you don't want uh, people to see behind the scenes. They don't want the liquor board to be like, "Hey, that guy's overserved over there." <laughs> Could you imagine? You no, call no. Him a cab. I don't overserve. Please, please. Yeah, I over. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna make an overserving <laughs> joke, but I feel like I don't even remember anything that went down at the restaurant anymore. It's kind of like. Pfft. It's been so far. So have long you been ago. overserved? I've been overserved for sure. Um, okay, what's your favorite shot to make? Oh, probably a Vegas bomb because I also enjoy drinking them. So good. Yeah. And then you, never mind. And then, and then you drink them with them? Or no, no. <laughs> I just mean like on my own free time. If I'm going out to have a drink and it's gonna be a shot, it's gonna be a v- Vegas bomb. Oh, I feel good. like I wouldn't choose to go out and have a shot. What do you drink? Ah, uh, just like beer. Yeah, like the weird tasting beer, right? Do you like the craft beer? I do drink <laughs> the craft fruity beer. beers. No, I don't like sours. Oh. I'd say that those aren't real beers. Are you, gonna, huh? you said that. Yeah. Yeah, they, they're they not bad. I know. That's I've recently you, started you, getting it. You like those because they're not I, real. No, no. I'll have some <laughs> after. Real. Once I'm progressed through the stages of liquor, I end up Usually sour. like seltzers and like... Uh, I start with a lot of them doing beer. I'll, I won't mix because that messes me up. But but it, going to the country bars, you know, that's where you start pounding back the buds, right? That's yeah. Where, that's a, that's a thing. I will give you that. Like I have been serving a lot of Budweisers lately. Oh, even uh, but but what's the thing that had the controversy? Budweiser, Bud, Bud, Bud Light. Light. The same thing. Mm. Yeah, same company. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bud Light's just for like it's just a lightweights. lighter beer. Uh, yeah, and less calories or something. Mm. I don't even know about calories. Counts calories when they're drinking beer, I guess. Well, there are some people. people. Yeah. All right. Some people drink and count That's why they drink like the nudes and the yeah. neutrals with the 0% whatever. Well, I mean, that's, that's I, what that, you drink. That is it? what I drink. Oh, see? <laughs> there like, you go. Is that what you drink? I'm talking about beer. I'm not, not anything else. That's what I start with. Yeah. That's what I start with. If I'm at a bar, I'll have that double vodka water, of course. You drink like I drink, but I don't do doubles. But vodka water That's is a my start. drink of choice. Yeah, once I have a couple of those, then I'm like, okay, I'm going to just cruise on the singles because I don't want to. But to get the ball rolling, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's what you sound drink. Good. What, so why it you is drink? good. Is it? Yes. Yeah. You uh, hydrate and drink. Acid. Okay. Yeah. That's the secret. I'm a big, like, you have to drink water after every single alcoholic beverage that you have. Or my baseball you can, or you can my drink baseball team water beats me. If you're oh, yeah. 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 Drink your water. It's a lot of peeing, though. You're just doing vodka waters, well, less you peeing. You saw how much my baseball team drinks. You'd understand. Baseball's okay. a big okay. drinking game. You're welcome for not letting them go to Rusty's on Saturday. No, <laughs> please let them come. Now <laughs> I want them a, there. It would have been a disaster. I feel like. <laughs> Can me? And I think it was like 18 people. I was like, there's no way 18 people are going to get in. Oh, right yeah, now. that's quite a few. Well, now. Yeah. Well, depending what time. It was like. And now we get a, after this, we get a like a, a pass, right? Where we can cut the line. Sure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. People? You will be forever on the VIP list. <laughs> I've I've worked in the club scene before, and that VIP list is a, a very long one. <laughs> There's a lot of people on. There. Yeah, honestly, we've been good. It's been very minimal because everybody wants to be on a guest list, and we don't really have a guest list. Yeah. So we'll give like the band a mini VIP list, and then we have like industry people that are really well known that'll be on it. But that's about it. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are we industry? Are you jealous? You can be now. Yes. You're not on the VIP list. Well, no, now he no. is forever. Yeah, oh, just had a yeah. standing VIP access. Yeah, like um, that one place where there's two lines. You can wait in the regular oh, yeah. line or the VIP <laughs> line, but you're still waiting. You're just on the other side. That's what we have. We have two lines. Okay, okay. There's a regular line and a VIP line. So you still get in the next up, but you're like, yeah, you or still. Do you, or do you like 
one than the other. No, because VIP is like expedited line. Mm, yeah. Like the Nexus. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so you don't get checked when you go in. I don't remember. Oh, no, you get checked. <laughs> like, do you guys do reservations? Yes. Yes, but they're only until seven. Mm. Yeah. That's nice, though, because, yeah, then and you can have the dinner there and then yeah. stick around. Yeah. That's probably something I, I'd end up doing. Highly encouraged to make reservations because then you know you're getting a table. You know you're getting in. You can be in at seven and, like, stay all night if you want to. In and outs? In and outs. To get in. Yes, we have stamps. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, that's a big one when you go to the country bars. Xenia. That's just a country bar thing? I don't know. Uh, that's just bar? a bar Usually there's thing. Like, yeah. There's, like... Smoke pits, though. That's what I mean. Yeah, we have a smoking area. I don't smoke, by the way. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. But, uh, yeah, we're getting close here. What? <laughs> Are you a mama's boy? No, but she she watches this. She roasts me every time I say something on here. She's like, that didn't happen. You're lying. Uh, you said this wrong. It's You posted this late. Yeah. That's funny. an awesome mom. She, she, she gave me last year when I wasn't uh, posting everything, you know, like, Right after, and then something that was dropped in there, like, oh, next week we're doing this thing. That was next week. That was like two months ago. That's, uh, you should have posted that. That's, I'm like, there's 10 episodes to get out. I'm not going to post one right away. So now we're changing things up because of my mom. I hope you don't edit this out. No, I'm going to keep it. 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 (laughs) So to please her, we're going to make sure that everybody gets interviewed before the event and then we can post it in time. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. So we have until, St. Patrick's Day. No, oh, yeah, this. but this will be up in two weeks. We <laughs> have time. We're going. We're doing it the right way this time. Got it. Right. Yep. Anything else that you wanted to bring up, Bo Rusty's? Something that we could mm. throw in a nice little viral clip for you. I think just follow our social media page because there's going to be lots of things coming that I can't talk about yet, but big things. Any crazy stories happening there so far? Anything that. Uh, Honestly, not yet, which is great because there's been no, like, incidences or anything huge to talk about. That's amazing. Um, Last weekend with Whiskey Blind, though, on Saturday, we did have some real cowboys in there. Not just, like, the the local Hoverdale Langley people, but, like, from up north, like, cattle rancher people. So that was awesome. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. And they probably got in right away. Maybe. I don't know. It was, it was <laughs> earlier. <laughs> um... Oh, dance floor wise. Mm -hmm. What's the situation? uh... It's been good. We, so obviously we're a pub, but we pull a bunch of the tables away. So we have quite a big area to work with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, Cause uh, that's the biggest, you know, obstacle I find. Yeah. Well, you have to have space for the band. Yeah. Space to dance. Yep. Otherwise, everyone's just watching. Totally. We've got a little mini stage that we built for bands and then dance floor. Oh, you built that? Yeah. Was that not there before? Um, They had it a really long time ago. So wasn't there one like in the corner? Um, So they did have bands in that mm-hmm. area, but there was never anything built. Mm. It was just like the floor. Mm. They used to have a stage years ago, but then it got taken out for some reason. So then, yes, they built it again. Okay. Yeah. Well, I look forward to coming. I still haven't made it out. I don't know why. Definitely come. Oh, for sure. Now you're for- going on Saturday. I thought you were going on Saturday. I know I was until I was too embarrassed. Of my friend. Why did I do on Saturday? Of the baseball team. <laughs> oh, uh, something, something happened Saturday. I can't remember what happened. It's okay. Saturday. Next time you guys come, now you just message me and be like, VIP access, please. And I'll be like, okay. That's the one thing I've been nervous of going is like, if I'm going there and then everyone saw like an episode or something, they're like, you're like that, you're like that podcast guy. Oh my God. Can I have your signature? And then I'm like, oh, yes. Oh, he's going to ask you that. Now I'm joking, I am. I'm joking. I'm joking. But no, but like waiting in line. And then they're like, oh, you're at the back of the line. What's going on here? Like, oh, my God. You know, like, you're worried about not being cool? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. I, I was spoiled at uh, other bars before. And you thought if you started this podcast, you'd be yeah, able to Yeah, that's why I started this podcast. Line. Yeah. It's so that I could skip lines. It worked with Rusty's. So. There we go. Yeah. Mission accomplished. There you go. This is the last episode. Your goal in life <laughs> now <laughs> complete. the last one. We're, we're done. not doing anymore. Going out on a high. <laughs> yeah. Quit while we're on top. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so follow Rusty's Pub. Yeah. Follow Shmisha. Yeah. Oh, we talked about it at the beginning. We didn't talk about it yet. Oh, we're getting close. But um, I like what happened in the in the like uh, beginning before you opened where it was like a Langley Savage thing. And then they called you out and you're like, we're Shmisha. And you're like, oh, new things coming. Oh, like they posted a meme? Yeah. 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 
That was funny. They're good at their their memes. Yeah, yeah and but they it created like a back and forth. Yeah, you know, it was like a community like back. I yeah. loved it. People yeah. were all on board for that. Yeah. I think that that needs to happen more often. It was pretty fun. I had no idea what you're talking about. Okay, well, it's because you don't it's follow okay. them on social media. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for, for watching. Uh, if you have any questions that we didn't answer, comment them down below uh, or message them directly. Uh, did I get any more uh, questions here quickly? Well, for, uh, that was a funny question. I'm not going to read that. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, so if you don't already subscribe and if you're listening on a podcast, make sure you give us five stars um, unless you hate Langley. So yeah, we do this every single week. We sure do, even uh, though it doesn't seem like it. Well, we, well it's posting every single <laughs> week. Because um, tomorrow we got like three of them. Uh, oh. Same thing. Um, so, yeah. Thanks, for much thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. We'll see you on the next one. And we'll see you at Rusty's. Yeah.